With lots of research completed on the workmanship, materials, design, aesthetics, and availability, it was an easy decision to make Arctic Turn Overland windows and doors the choice components for this habitat. So much so that Globe Trekker has become a certified dealer of these items. Well, here we are. <laughs> We're gonna be putting the box on today. And what, wait a minute, what is that that I hear? What, I hear something. I hear something. What the heck is that? I hear this, oh yeah. <laughs> Well, here we are again. Day three is complete. You can see that this thing is ready to go up onto Lamasu. So today, before we put it up onto Lamasu, we're going to actually be cutting out all of these windows. We already got the door, of course, cut out, but we're going to be installing the doors and windows and doing some finished caulk work before it gets, you know, 12 and a half feet up into the air. So you guys stay tuned. This is, hmm, I don't know, day four of the awesome build? Oh yeah. Ha-ha! Perfect fit, like a glove. This is personal preference. This, this is what I like to do. I like to actually start at the left edge and go around. I don't like to cut the bottom after the top because then the top's gonna sag and bind your blade. So that's why I always like to do the top to take the gravity in my favor to make sure that I don't have any issues with binding my blade. That's just my preference, do it how you will. Nice. <laughs> Save these in case you want to make a pass through or uh, do any kind of other smaller walls. You can save these and recycle.
You ready for a little fun in science today? I am. <laughs> so, our panel construction, as we've talked about before, the polyisocyanate foam, PIR, Asdell, the FRP, you can get a good shot of the side section there. The high density. But here's something you don't do with other panel manufacturers. Give it out a burn, Dave. Watch it burn. Get the flame up there where they can see it. Alright. But notice something. Get it burning, then stop. Let go of the flame, and guess what happens? It won't it won't stay lit. It won't propagate, it won't keep going. It goes out. Flame retardant. Here's the other beauty about polyisocyanate foam, besides a higher R value. Look at that. Water just beads right off. No worries at all. I love it. Hey, does this, I mean, we just cut this open. Isn't this like all open cell now? Oh, that's the beauty of this. Because of all these environments, you don't need to coat or seal the outside to worry about moisture. Why would you need to coat or seal the outside of a panel? Well, because your foam isn't the right kind of foam. This foam is the right kind. Right kind. What foam is not the right I kind? I would not use an XPS, a polystyrene, an EPS, or say it's safe, polyurethane. Ooh. That's just my opinion. I think it's a good opinion to have. <laughs> <laughs> Proof right there in science. Right on. <laughs> it's science. <laughs> it's 11.15 and the windows are already cut and installed. And food is here. Lunch time. Time to remove the corner caps. Provide a caulk underneath the corner cap, around the corner cap to keep a nice good seal. Uh, it's a double layer protection. And then we're going to also caulk all around the perimeter. Make it all nice and pretty. This old shop girl of a forklift has seen better days. With its hydraulics having issues and its short forks with slightly weak fork extensions on, it was just not up for a safe lift. For this lift to be successful, an appropriate forklift, or better yet, an overhead gantry system is highly preferred and recommended. If you have to slip into plan B, the odds of success decrease dramatically. Have the proper equipment available or struggle over the next few hours with your contingency plan.
one side at a time. Man, oh man, that thing looks really, really nice. You know what? <laughs> it would look even better, Bill, if you'd paint your truck. <laughs> I can't, I mean, it just, it just really affects me having that one wheel that's tan and the other one black. And especially now that you have that very beautiful habitat on there. Yeah, you got to paint your truck, buddy. <laughs> Sorry, but I'm calling you out. And just to let you guys know that I have created a playlist. So if you want to go back and see all of the videos that I've done with this collaboration build, because it's so epic, I've made a playlist for you. And hey, there's more to come. So we still have the brush guards to put on. And don't forget, there's an epic, epic set of stairs that roll out from underneath the habitat. And you can either fold it all the way down and the, and the stairs they automatically level, no matter what level it is, whether it's straight out or straight down, they automatically level. And this one actually features, if you don't have the room on this one side, you can actually pull two pins and it folds right into a small ladder. It is really, really cool. That is coming up in the next couple of videos in this playlist. You guys stay tuned for that. Until then, I'm Dave Anderson signing out. You guys be safe out there. And God bless.